maybe the next next example would be would be good if we could uh, open up a couple of uh, railings that we created before and yeah. illustrate how the different forms are, are made. I mean, without going more into the details, but let's just look at a few examples to, to see how these elements would would translate to actual railings. Uh, these were actually made <coughs> by uh, made up on request, and we are very grateful for our uh, reseller in in Australia who gave us a couple of pictures and images to to show us what kind of uh, really types. Do you have those images? Right? I think so. If if you open up <coughs> yeah, the please. the file browser where the uh, just give me one second to, yeah. to find them. Um, it's interesting because every every single country has different uh, sort of expectations, so it's always good to good to see. What we yeah, what we have to realize. So this is a typical colonial style of, of for for a porch, for instance. Mm -hmm. And here's another one. Uh, it's a bit it's a bit different, and it's the same as well because it has the the um, the balust the larger balustrades at, at big steps, and it has the the smaller ones, and it has two handrails. So it's it was very. But actually, there is two two different solutions for this. You could use yes, the, yes, yes, the yes. columns, and then just use. Uh, uh, Railing in between, or you can just co fully cover this with the railing system because it supports this this long item. I will show you that. That's right. And here's <laughs> another one. Uh, this is just to illustrate that you could you could use objects as well, but yep. that's something that we talked about before. Here's a close-up. There, we are able to create forms like that one. You can use the standard three-dimensional editing tools to create the the balusters, and then you yeah, can use the rotational as solid. Yeah. Here's an interesting one. This is with wires. Uh, at, as far as I can see, maybe there are glass panels as well, but I can see them. So mm -hmm. uh, when it came to modeling this, and we'll show it in a second, we used one handrail and a bunch of smaller handrails with yeah. a small uh, diameter of, of panels to uh, or, or or cross sections to mo to model for the for the mm -hmm. wires, you know, like uh, strings of uh, guitar yes. or something. Yes, let's go mm -hmm. back to the software. This is what I'm talking about. So yeah. for instance, we go, we want to take a look at this style. If we go to the to the to the settings to see what we have here, we go to the handrail and we see that we have a customized shape. Maybe uh -huh, if I zoom in, I can see. So this yeah. is actually the handrail I'm talking yeah. about. This is uh, defined in 2D, and then you can go through all the way to the bottom as far as the, the this kind of as you call them guitar strings go. Yeah, and also we have mm -hmm. the we have the newel posts and we, we have the baluster. So. All these elements can be used to to build up something like this, for instance, when we have two kinds of balusters. Mm -hmm. So we have the primary ones. Uh, maybe if I zoom in, I can I can show you what happens if I disable them, like that. Yeah. Uh -huh. And we have the newer posts. And the newer posts should be in the corner and at the beginning. Oh yes, yes, because these are the the balusters by by big step. Right? Yeah. And newer posts okay. are there. So these are these are good. How did you change the height of this uh, newer post? Uh, the newer post, you mean, or the, yeah, the newer post? So you do you do everything here, and it's, yeah, it's the the baluster height, uh, just as just as in case of the regular ones. Yes, right? and and since you mentioned before, is that certain elements are generated uh, where the nodes are. Mm -hmm. If you want to coordinate how the railings posts uh, coincide with the with the roof that they are holding, then you just have to move the nodes, right? Uh, you just need to insert a new one. Let, let me yes. just uh, show you that. So if I just go here, see, so this is how the path looks like. If I just actually go here, you will see an endpoint, an endpoint, an endpoint, and nothing in between. That's 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 normal. That's that's yes. actually how you will create that. But, but imagine if that you, there's there's a, there's a roof above it, which just above the porch. So you just add. So the, if you insert a node here, then it changes this uh, this whole thing here because now there is a break here, and and this should be treated as a neural post, and then the software just applies the rules automatically onto That's that right. corner. So this is how it works. So the point here is, is that you, you should use all these, combine all these elements to create something like that one. Most things can be realized <coughs> with the standard large chain tools. For those that cannot, use objects. You can model the objects or you can import something from external libraries and turn them into intelligent real, realing elements. Yeah, for example, and in this case, which was this one, you yes. should use an object for Actually, that. there's a video mm -hmm. of that on our website where we create something like that. Mm -hmm.